Do you tell people what to believe? Definitely not. I, what I tell people is what I believe, and then I get them to question what they believe through what I believe. Now, they don't have to, know, they don't have to do what I believe or practice what I believe or, or tell others what I believe or any of those things. If a person comes to ask me a question about what I believe, I will tell them the truth about what I believe. I do not expect them to accept the belief. That is up to them and that is up to their personal experience. And in fact, in my experience, the majority of people do not accept what I believe until they go through their own personal experiences and then they come to believe similar things to what I believe as a result. And I, I actually feel that every person who connects to God directly and actually connects to God through this personal experience will eventually come to believe very similar things to what I currently believe. But I don't feel that there is any need for them to do so. I don't feel that they must do so in order to have an interaction with me. And I don't feel that I can force them into believing anything. And in fact, if I tried to force them into believing anything, I would be out of harmony with my own teachings because my own teachings demonstrate free will at all times, a respect for free will at all times. And so if I do not respect another person's free will, I am automatically out of harmony with my own teachings. And that would, be an, uh, that would make me a hypocrite. So my suggestion to people is that if they come and ask me a question, expect me to say exactly what I think. But also do not expect that I'm trying to get them to believe exactly what I think. Just because I state what I think with a definite assurance and just because I state it categorically, it doesn't mean that I believe that the other person must accept what I'm saying. But I will say things with conviction when I am firmly convinced. And I obviously will come up with many logical arguments as a result of those convictions. If my arguments are illogical, then tell me that they are illogical and we can have a discussion. That's what I believe every person needs to do in any interaction with any person, let alone any interaction with myself.